This is a Spree Model Network TV and you're watching a closer look at the Jetty SBEC 30D. Today I'm going to show you why this accessory is a must have in your next build. Thanks for tuning in. This is Casey from Jetty USA and Esprit Tech. Today I'm going to explain to you the newest product from Jetty, the SBEC 30D. This is a high voltage switching BEC that allows for input voltages up to 60 volts. That's a 16 cell setup. This is a great way to stabilize your voltage as you use your battery capacity, allowing for constant speed and constant torque on your servos. This is great in a competition setting when consistency is key. The SBEC 30D allows for an adjustable output voltage anywhere from 5 to 8.4 volts. This works great with the newest line out there on the market of servos, high voltage servos. Another great feature about the SBEC 30D is that it is programmable directly through Device Explorer on your Jetty transmitter. In addition, you can also set up switches to clear your data and you can substitute a wireless switch for the magnetic switch to allow you to turn on your device directly from your transmitter. In addition, the Jetty SBEC 30D allows for telemetry data capabilities. So now you can utilize current draw, your minimum and your max. You can use battery capacity and then you can also watch your input voltage directly on your transmitter. This is a great way to monitor what's going on to prevent servo overload. Take for example, if you fly aggressively and your maximum current starts rising above, you can actually utilize the alarm function in your jetty transmitter to let you know so you can prevent servo overload. Next, I will show you a little bit more in Device Explorer about how to program and set up your SBEC 30D. All right, so this is our setup for our SBEC 30D. As you can see, we have a 3S battery going into it. The great thing about the SBEC 30D is it'll also work as an expander for up to two more telemetry devices. You can see we have an MT125 hooked up right now. When you unbox it, it will come with a magnetic switch. We've gone ahead and replaced that with the wireless switch so that we can actually turn our device on and off from our transmitter. If you want to stay tuned, I'll show you how to do that in the next scene. Hey guys, now we've got a close up on the transmitter itself so we can actually see what's going on when we have the SBEC 30D on. So we're going to start with it off. I'm going to show you how I, I've utilized the wireless switch to turn on and off my device. So I have it assigned to switch SF. It's going to ask me if I want to turn the model on and I'm going to say yes. Launch. Now you can see all of my telemetry data populates and the SBEC 30D has now been turned on. And as I move my servos, you can see right here that my capacity is changing from my battery as well as my min and max on my current. So one of the things that I mentioned was also the ability to reset that data. I will show you how to do that once we go into Device Explorer. So in order to get there, hit your menu, go into your model, now scroll down to Device Explorer. When your SBEC 30D is on, you're actually going to see it pop up. So I'm going to select that and it pops up a screen with different settings. You have your general, you have your telemetry, and then you have your telemetry min and max. So let's go ahead and pop into the general settings right now. In this screen, you'll see your voltage setting. This is where you actually adjust what voltage you want to go ahead and have it set for on the output. So we have 7.4. As you can see, it can go up and down by one point of a volt. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on 7.4 because that's what the servos use that we have hooked up to this board. You can also see the expander settings. This is where you can adjust it to work with additional telemetry devices 
or you can do a log input or turn it off. Since we have the MT125 set up, we can go ahead and leave it on expander. And once you um, set what you want here, you can go ahead and hit the escape button to go back. The telemetry menu right here will go ahead and show you all your displayed telemetry. So you can see where we're at. Same thing that is also populated on the front of your transmitter. I'm going to go back to the telemetry min max screen. Now this is where you can either manually clear your data or you can assign a switch. As you can see, we have the SC switch assigned. And I'll show you how that works. So we're gonna go on down, and again, here's all your telemetry data that you have stored. And we're gonna go back to your main screen. As you can see, since we've been running it, our capacity is, has gone up, and you can see we have information here. Once I flip this switch, it's going to ask me to apply the changes, and I switch it back. Now you can see that my capacity has reset. So say you're out in the field and you want to change your battery, this is a great way to keep track of that. This has been the SBEC 30D Closer Look. If you have any questions, please check out our website, jettyusa.com or espritech.com, or feel free to give us a call. Thanks for watching.